Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here, and we're going to do a replay commentary for Total War Rome 2. I'll be commanding the Romans again, and my opponent's name is Spaniard, commanding the Macedonians. So let's watch the replay. So my army's in the left, and I went with a core of seven Praetorian Guards, uh, no skirmishers whatsoever, two Auxiliary Cav, and you saw my opponent's army. My opponent's army is a lot more balanced than mine. So let's go look at my, uh, well... Tactical overhead, here you go. On the other ones, I'm approaching my opponent here. You can see my awesome Praetorian Guards. Yeah, the last time I used uh, Rome, I was, you know, salivating over how awesome these purple cloaks were. So I decided to, hey, let's get seven of these guys. So my opponent was a host. He set the rolls at, was it, one elephant max, uh, no new box, maximum of four horse archers, and I forgot what else he had. But anyways, the rules allowed for this setup here. And I put my cav on both wings. I even have uh, two units of these uh, Vigilis. Or however you pronounce it. Sorry for the lag there. Those are spear units. Very low grade spear units. And then finally I got my general and bodyguard unit. That's where I put my general. Let's go look at my opponent's army here. Slingers. Um, mercenary Thracian Peltists. And... Um, in front of them, he has three units of these mercenary Thracian warriors. Nice to see them. Then he's got a, a core of... What is that? What? Six Hoplite units? Making up his front lines. Then he has his uh, cav on both wings. He has a two Thessalian cav on this wing. He's got his general with the uh, companions over here. There they are. And he's got another spare unit of Thess Thessalian cav. Then he has two more units of cav over here. Two more Thessalian Cav units. So he has a, a plethora of Thessalian Cav, as you can see. So I'm going to divide my wings here, as you can see. I put three Praetorian Guards plus the Vigilis and an Auxiliary Cav on one wing, and then the equal amount of strength on the other wing. So I have a task force of equal strength on both sides. In the middle, I got my General, and he has a Praetorian Guard in front of him. And I still have my auxiliary cab closer to my general, as you can see. My opponent's swinging his Thessalians around here. So that is the, uh, the tactical dispositions here. My opponent's gonna, uh, move around with his cav. And I'm gonna move around with my entire army, minus my, uh, general and reserve unit of Praetorian Guards here. They're gonna sit pretty for now. Now I'm gonna swing my auxiliary cab over to the wings to assist my, my infantry in trying to ward off the Thessalian Cav on both wings, as you can see. It's happening on both wings. So basically using my general, my lone Praetorian guard over there, and my two Thessalian sorry, my two auxiliary cab as reserves. But I'm striking out on both wings. Strike elements of three Praetorian guards and Vigilis on both wings. I keep saying that, don't I? So he's pulling out with his uh, Thessalian cab. He's looking for a moment to strike because uh, Thessalians do have that that awesome uh, charge bonus. So he is just waiting for an opportunity for me to strike. And um, at this point, I decided to stop chasing his Thessalian cab, but I still have my Vigilis and my my auxiliary cab ready to intercept if they are going to do so. But I'm I'm swinging my Praetorian guards over to attack his uh, Hoplite wing over here, who are backed by these uh, mercenary Thracian warriors. And he's swinging some more Thracian Warriors over. He still has reserve uh, Thessalian Cav, reserve reserve Companion General, and a reserve of uh, Slingers and Mercenary Thracian Peltist and Thracian Warriors. So here's the new uh, tactical overhead on the yellow ones on this. So he's got a lot more troops than I do, a lot more unit cards than I do, especially. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm sending this Praetorian. Uh, guardian around, whip around these hoplites so I can hit him from behind. Same thing over here. I want to just push forward. Uh, create an open. No, that's when he's going to strike out with a Thessalian cab on this wing, as you can see. I see him coming, so I, I switch courses. My guys launch a Pila and knock out 12 Thessalian cab over there. He's going to strike over here as well. And over here. So he has three Thessalian cabs striking at my, at my right wing task force. I'm gonna launch my Vigilis into his uh, Thessalian Cav over here. Don't take out any in that initial charge. But I think in the long run, it's going to bog them down with my Vigilis 
when I got my auxiliary cab coming in to attack. So how much did that charge take out? Took out two. <laughs> wow, that was pretty weak. And over here I'm dicing up these Thessalian cab. They're down to 16 men. My Praetorian Guard were eating them up, and not to mention when they ran away, my Pila knocked out even more. So I'm going to insert this unit behind his hoplite, so that's when he decides to charge. I see him coming on both wings. I saw his uh, his tactical pattern, and I was ready to respond on both wings to it. So my Praetorian Guards are getting enveloped in here. But that's fine, I got more back here ready to come in. But it's taking two of his units to bog down one of my Praetorian Guards. Anyhow, here comes that 16 units of Thess the, the 16 strength squadron of Thessalian Cav. Not very strong anymore. He's gonna come in for a charge here. Where my auxiliary cab and Vigilis are. I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that, but I don't care. You guys know what I'm talking about. So his uh, Thracian Peltas are uh, wreaking some havoc on my guys. Not too much, though. My guys got their shields ready. Yeah, they do. And, uh... Here, my Praetorian Guard are getting ganged up on here. See how they went down to 70 from 120? They're getting smashed by uh, Hoplites and, and the other combination of mercenary Thracian Warriors. So here's the new tactical overhead. Getting charged again over here. These Thessalians are waiting around. I was really waiting for him to, to strike out, but you can see what I'm doing with my general. My general's just a reserve right now. Same with this uh, Praetorian Guardian that's just sitting here in the front. Uh, they will take some losses from the missile fire, but I think it's not too uh, significant to worry about at this point. So here, I'm going to bypass this unit of Hoplites because my other Praetorian Guards are there. So my auxiliary cab plus my Praetorian Guards are going to smash into these mercenary Thracian Warriors. They're not really the best unit for receiving a charge like that. They are pretty. They have some pretty good attack value, but receiving it, probably not so much. At least that's my understanding. I haven't really looked at their attack values, to be honest. But I'm assuming, with that kind of weaponry, they have pretty good attack. So this right wing... Well, this wing I'm, I'm facing my right is getting shattered right here. On the left, I'm losing some units over here. He's doing a, a lot a lot better on the side, but he's still losing it. And I had to peel off a unit of these Praetorian Guard to uh, push in to his middle section here. Getting close to the middle. So I got my reserve Praetorian Guards here just absorbing his uh, missiles. They're, they're now minus seven Praetorians, but I think it's acceptable. Now I got my general over here. I wanted to decide the issue on my right wing here. I want to speed this up so I can transfer this victorious wing over to the middle. So yeah, basically I'm crushing them on the wings right now. And I got my Praetorians ready to move in when they can. Oh, Pila at the cameraman. That's so awesome for the cameraman. So yeah. Over on this wing, this I'm sla I'm slashing these uh, guys apart. So the Roman right is coming over to attack the Macedonian center, and I already have my uh, Praetorian guards leading the way into the general unit here. This general's down to 58 men. It's kind of psychological, just kind of pushing his general around. At the same time, I'm also killing these uh, units of uh, Thracian warriors, mercenary Thracian warriors. Fuck the Lordy! Ooh, brave Peltus taking on Praetorian Guard. I would expect no less from Thracians. They're a very uh, formidable warrior people. They're gonna die though. So now he's gonna push outward. I got these guys ready with their Pila. More Pila at these guys, and they that did nothing. That Pila did nothing to those hoplites. So, uh, definitely Pila is not as strong as it was in Realm 1, which, you know, I'm kind of glad about that, to be honest. I still like Realm 1 way better, but... So, let's look at the tactical overhead again. Remember, he's red, I am yellow. So, yeah, slowly I am starting to, uh, 
bring down his numbers and get a positional advantage over him. These hoplites will not last too long in this kind of fight. They are backed up with some uh, Thracian warriors, but now I'm about to hit these guys from behind with my auxiliary cav. Let's see if that takes out too many. Didn't take out too many. Oh! More, more Praetorian guards ready to join the mix. I was going to charge into these guys, but when I saw these uh, hoplites coming, I decided to charge these hoplites right here. A lot of these infantry battles are decided by, you know, getting your infantry charge in first before the opponent does. Alright, so. Oh man, he's destroying my guys over here. That's his uh, general unit, I believe. His general's down to 45 men. But those companions have a really good charge. Uh, they should, I mean. Because they are uh, very expensive. They're so expensive that I practically don't ever use them in this game. Which is a shame, because if you're using Mastodon, you have to have companions. But I feel like uh, my trend with this game is I, I use Cecily and Cav. Historically, they're about the same strength, though, to be honest. They're armed the same, they had the same abilities. Thessalian's fighting on the left side of the Macedonian army. Companions fighting on the position of honor on the right. But aside from the position of honor, they're pretty much the same skill, same equipment. Man, this Praetorian Guard is so exhausted. And they're they're down, they're down to 19 men. All these charges are taking its toll, my guys. That said, I am definitely winning this fight now. Look at the uh, balance bar. So he's losing all of his men except for his uh, general. And once I kill all of his men save his general, I start to, uh, I get a little sloppy. You know, pretty much just gonna leave my general where he is, just let him fight it out. I'm even gonna chase his general around, even though I know his general is a lot stronger than mine. His general is still at 33, my general is a general bodyguard unit. So it says they're, they're gonna die here, or they're, they're at least wavering anyways. But, you know, I figured the battle is pretty much over at this point. So I'm just going to launch my general without the uh, infantry support. Add his uh, companions. But you can see this battle is pretty much over. So yeah, uh, since I played, start, since I started playing Rome 2 again, I'm, I'm 3 for 3 right now in my battles. I don't expect that to last. I really do suck at this game. Like I never put that much time into this game at all. Like, when I first bought this game, you know, I had this really crappy computer. Not the one I'm using now, but I did, so it, the game just looked ugly on my computer. And it was hard to control anything on my, my old computer. And honestly, you know, Rome 1 has always been where my heart has always been. Anyways, I lost my general there, and, uh... I didn't care, honestly. I just launched my general at this guy, even though he had 20 or 30 or so companions left. Now the good thing about this game is his general could not keep running away. As far as I know anyways. He, he will eventually break. But my opponent wasn't going to keep running away. He's actually going to do a, a glory charge here. Let's watch it. There you go. Pila! So that general is down to 21 men. They gain experience though. A lot of my guys still got back up. Either that or they're zombies. Coming back to Thriller. Thriller. My guys are so tired. But I like the shot of their purple cloaks. It's awesome. So anyways, uh, good game to Spaniard. I've used that name so many times in Rome 1. Um, look how much experience that general gained. He gained a lot of experience killing my guys. He killed 148 of my Romans with his general unit. But my Praetorians racked up a lot of kills. This one right here, this Praetorian guard alone killed 304 Macedonians. But he definitely had the uh, superior army. Army, sorry. Um, I think if he played it better, he definitely should have won this fight, but he didn't take advantage of his skirmishers, and he didn't take advantage of his numbers too well, and he kind of threw away his cav advantage over me. 
Um, yeah, I think he should have won that fight. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. I'll see you guys later.